June 3rd, 2024, and it's Monday. I would have started my vlog yesterday, but I completely forgot about it. And I worked about a six hour shift yesterday. And by the time I got off work, me and Josh went grocery shopping. So I just kind of gave up on it yesterday. <laughs> I woke up really, really late. I've been waking up really late for some reason. I don't know why. And I finally got myself to get up and start getting the house tidied. I had some things to do. Uh, they were wanting me to come into work today, but I told them I couldn't because I woke up late and I wasn't lying and also I had things I needed to get done. Like Are you enjoying yourself? <laughs> you cutie. You cutie little butt. I had a load of laundry that had been sitting on my my ugh, my love seat for like the past few days um, that really needed to be folded. So like I, I had things I needed to to catch up on around the house like I'm still trying to catch up on stuff from the whole airline incident which I never really actually told you guys but if you follow me on social media then you probably kind of heard about it a little bit basically when we were coming home from Salem or when we were supposed to come home from Salem we had to check out of our hotel at a certain time that day and then we had a taxi take us to the airport which was about like I think like an hour drive from where we were in Salem so they came there kind of early picked us up drove us all the way to the airport and we had several hours still yet before our flight was even supposed to take off so we got there around like noon that day we were sitting there for hours waiting for our flight okay and like I understand like the weather is out of everyone's control like you cannot control the weather however if they can see that the weather is going to be bad on like a radar thing or like on the news or whatever why couldn't they have told us like ahead of time so that way we could have stayed an extra day in Salem or at least compensated us for our time there it got like an hour close to when our flight was supposed to leave and then all of a sudden it said it was delayed okay no big deal we still had time to catch our next flight whenever we got to Charlotte because for some reason it was taking us to Charlotte, North Carolina instead of bringing us back home here to West Virginia. Like a couple minutes go by and then I look up because Jody had got another notification on her phone. The notification was actually giving me like anxiety every time I heard it and our flight had been delayed again and this time it was delayed until like nine something well our next flight in charlotte was supposed to leave at like 8 30 to go back to charleston we would have missed our flight so i had to tell my dad because he him and jody were at, in the bathroom at that time in the airport and um which by the way i'm not naming names just in case i can get in trouble for that but let's just say i would never ever fly with this airline ever in my life just from personal experience but long story short it kept getting delayed and it kept getting delayed until eventually they just canceled the flight altogether so we had to go to like the customer service desk it was like a whole fiasco there i lost my temper i was panicking and when listen i am very quiet and chill until you piss me off and then I will just let loose. I don't care who's watching me. I don't care what they think. I will just tell you how I feel, okay? And I'm usually not like this. Like I work in retail. I have to deal with the public every day. I know what it's like. I was so pissed off and just panicky that day that I didn't care and I started going off on a lady. Mind you, I was not making it personal. I was not like, you know, coming at her personally, but I was swearing and I was, you know, letting them know that I was upset. It was just a whole thing there, um, which I don't really want to talk about. I don't want to go into detail, but um, we ended up having to stay at the airport all night long because they couldn't have even given us a hotel voucher. They didn't give us any sort of food, nothing. 
we just had to stay there all night long and I tried to get comfortable in the seats. The armrest would not go up. I couldn't get comfortable in the seats, so I tried to lay down on the floor. I know a lot of people said it was gross, but I was so worn out and tired. I had been up since 7.30 that morning. Um, we had been sitting in that airport all day and night long. Um, and I was laying on the floor trying to fall asleep and then my dad hollers at me and, wake, and gets me up and he tells me that there was a mouse that ran past me on the floor. So I sat up, I decided I wasn't going to lay on the floor, so I didn't sleep. We were all wide awake all night long. We decided that we were going to move to the area because they finally got our, our flight rescheduled, but unfortunately it wasn't until the very next morning at like 5 a.m. So we had to stay there all night long. So we decided we were gonna move to where our flight was gonna be, you know, boarding. And as we were walking to that area, a state trooper stops us and he tells us that we were not allowed to stay in the airport, that we had to go downstairs. Mind you, we had already been through TSA that day and now we had to go through TSA again. So um, we were just having a great time and all of the stores and everything were closed. So even if we wanted to get something to drink in that night, we were screwed until the next morning. We did buy, we ended up before, you know, they closed or whatever. We did end up buying us like a drink and a sandwich, which was really gross. It was nasty. It was like a $13 sandwich. And that was all we had to eat that entire day. So you can understand my frustration. You can understand why I was like that. I am not a Karen unless I have to be. Okay, or I have a good reason to be. It was just a whole thing and I was so like, okay, I, I'm, I'm definitely mentally ill. I can't like say exactly what it is that I have, but I think, I think it may be OCD. And not just regular OCD, like OCD pure O, where like it's mostly in your mind and which I've talked about this before on my main channel, but you just have obsessive thoughts. You have intrusive thoughts that sometimes aren't so um, pleasant and sometimes they're scary, sometimes they're disturbing, like, and it's just a constant thing. And like, whenever you start to worry or panic about something, like it just goes on and on and on and on and on. And you have to have like reassurance and I don't know. I've never been diagnosed and I hate to be the type to self-diagnose myself, but like, I feel like I know myself better than anybody else. And I don't know. I just believe that that's what's wrong with me, but I do know that I'm mentally ill, whether it's OCD or not. Please don't take offense to that. Those that have been diagnosed, I just strongly believe that that's what I have. But anyway, like whenever you feel something, you feel it deeply and you feel it like 10 times more intensely than other people do. And I feel like that's why I was panicking so much. Like I thought my mind automatically jumped to the worst possible conclusion. My cat is on top of my refrigerator. Awesome. I always jump to the worst possible conclusion that I, that I possibly can. And I just thought, oh my God, I'm never getting home. Because like that morning before we left to even go to Salem to begin with, like I just had a really bad feeling in the pit of my stomach. So I was panicking and thinking, okay, I'm never getting home now. Like this is, it's just, I'm screwed. But like, thankfully we did finally make it home. And I tell you, I've never been so happy to see West Virginia in my whole entire life. Like I already had travel anxiety to begin with. And now my travel anxiety is like 10 times worse. Because as you guys know, if you followed me on my main channel before, uh, I did have an incident one time with my best friend when we were traveling to New York. And this was driving, but we're okay, thankfully. And I still had a great time in Salem, but that whole thing sort of ruined it. The worst part is when we got home to kind of contact them and leave a complaint, they pretty much just, you know, slapped themselves on the wrist and said, here, here's $25, yada, 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 off your next flight. And I'm like, do you think I would ever fly with that airline ever again? No, there's not a flying chance in hell. <laughs> Literally, there's not a flying chance in hell that I would ever fly with that airline ever again. Now, I am flying one more time this year, um, and that's going to be to Disney this month but it's with a different airline, thankfully.
bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We meant to be In the great outdoors Forever Alrighty, hey guys! So it is currently Wednesday, June 5th, I think? I feel like dog shit if I'm being completely honest with you. When we got back home from the airport, Jody came down with a sickness and I believe I caught it because my throat has been really sore and dry and um, yesterday night I did not sleep really at all. I maybe got five hours of sleep that whole night and last night I slept fine but I woke up early and then I couldn't go back to sleep because binks so I decided to just get up for the day and get everything tidied and put away and I still put makeup on because you know I gotta be a pretty sick queen. But yeah not much is really going on today. It's a really rainy icky day outside. I'm gonna, going to work today. I got like a four hour shift. Not too bad thankfully. Um, I scheduled a video to be uploaded tonight and tomorrow is my day off and I'm going to try and work on some research and hopefully film. I think this weekend we're going to attempt to put my pool up, so I'm really looking forward to that. So I want to get everything like done and ready before then, so I have more time. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get dressed because I'm still wearing this. <laughs> and probably meditate, do a small meditation before I have to leave for work. Because people have been testing my patience lately. They have at work and other places. Does anyone else get lazy with their feet? Sorry if I sound all congested, but does anybody else get lazy with their feet and just not want to give themselves a pedicure for a really long time? Because like most of the time I do mine at home because it's just so expensive to get your toenails and your actual nails done. But I just get so lazy when they grow out and like the nail polish starts to come off. And I always have my toenails painted. Like I. I cannot go without my toenails painted. Like they just look so ugly to me <clears throat> without. But I always use these little nourishing socks by Epiel. I think I'm saying that right. Um, and these come from Big Lots, my work. I don't know if they sell them anywhere else, but they also have like ones for your hands and then obviously face masks. Um, they have masks for just about everything. <laughs> at my work but um, I really like these. I use these like once every month to keep my feet silky smooth. He's getting mad because there's a bird outside and he can't catch it. bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see from up all right hey guys so it is currently Friday uh, June what is today the 7th and I had to stay home from work today because I woke up this morning really early and um, I couldn't go back to sleep and I felt like this like ache in my stomach like I was hungry so I was like okay maybe if I eat something it'll help me fall back asleep so I got up 
I made me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich because I was really craving it. Went to eat it and could not taste a bite of it. Could not taste my Dr. Pepper. And that's how COVID started out the last time that I had it. Is I had like zero taste and zero smell. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm actually a lot less congested than what I was a few days ago. But I thought I better go get tested just to be on the safe side because I do not want to risk getting anybody else sick. Me and Jody went to Med Express and I got a COVID test. Thankfully, it came back negative. However, I did have a fever, which might explain why I couldn't go back to sleep because I was feeling really hot and just like icky and could not fall back asleep. So they gave me some medicine and I've literally just been sitting on the couch all day being a couch potato watching TikTok and that's all I've done all day. <laughs> um, I did get myself around to tidying up the house a little bit but um, she gave me an excuse and so I'm not going to be going to work for the next two days. I don't know if I've updated you guys since but um, when we got back from the airport immediately after Jody ended up getting sick with something. I tried her best to stay away from everyone um, but where I go over there so often and you know use her car to go to work and whatnot um, I'm still obviously interacting with her so I ended up catching whatever it was that she had. Um, but I think I'll be okay. I've been taking some like over-the-counter medicine as well and she gave me an inhaler because my asthma has been acting up and we're going to Disney in like a week. So I figure Florida's gonna be like really humid and just really hot. Um, I know I look gross. My face is really broke out. My hair looks nasty. It's my last no wash day. I feel like I'm always vlogging on my no wash days. So you guys probably always think that I have greasy hair and I do. Which if you have any tips on that, if you're a hairstylist or you just know a lot about hair, please be sure to let me know of any like cheap, affordable um, shampoos that are good for like fine, greasy hair. I know you're not supposed to wash your hair every single day, especially someone like me who has fine hair, as I said before. I'm way too comfortable with you guys, <laughs> just way too comfortable with you guys, but I don't care because I've gotten a lot lately I don't know what it is but I've gotten a lot more confident in myself to the point where I can vlog and talk to you or just go out in public without makeup on and not feel like bad about it because I think I said that in my last vlog but I've always been the type of person who I have to put on makeup before I go anywhere because I don't like the way I look without it or I used to not to go um take a bubble bath relax and unwind a little bit and then um, I've been kind of like laying around all day I feel like I need a little bit of exercise so I may go outside and try to take a walk or um, meditate or something I'm probably just gonna come back inside and watch some TV by the way I need to tell you guys about this <laughs> I don't know why um, I had a, I don't know if it's the medicine doing this to me or if it's just my own imagination. I, I don't really know, but I had a dream and if Josh hears me, he's going to kill me, but um, I had a dream that I was on the set of The Walking Dead and um, I was right there right beside Andy Lincoln and um, we just spontaneously started making out. He was like, there you are. And then we just started making out. And then I woke up.
I swear to fucking God, dude. I swear to God, it's eyes are fucking glowing in there, baby. I swear to God. I swear to God. I can't even fucking sleep. It oh, Jesus Christ. I wish it was about right there. You gotta stop killing time because I've got to go to sleep. This ain't wide. That's the problem. Why are you filming me? Because it's funny. I'm good. I don't like them just as much as you do. I don't care if it's a grand day long leg. I'm fine with those. This. And nose can bite you. Even though they can't hurt you. It's painful bites still. Because they got fans. Well, not fans. <sighs> yeah, they got fans. Oh, mercy. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Oh, fuck me. Myself. You want to try it? Yeah, because you're a pussy. You try this. You're a pussy. You're, I'm not a pussy. Yeah, you are. Work. With the thing on it? Yeah. Feel how hard it is. Josh. You hit that motherfucker hard enough. That ain't going to do anything. The fuck it won't. I think the flip-flop's better. Nah, this is hard. Oh, my God. Here comes Sam. I know they no. can't climb up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Jesus, I'm scared it's gonna it's I'm scared it's legs are gonna touch my fingers. <laughs> I can take that to it. I'm telling you this thing's hard. Still. I got a clear shot now because I moved all this shit. I gotta have to fucking measuring bowl, the flip-flop, the machete, the fucking vacuum cleaner, and it's still on the wall. I'm just You trust me? No no I don't need to see it, huh? You trust me? No! <laughs> no, don't fuck it. Uh -uh. I'll get out of your way. So I ain't in your way in case you gotta run. <sighs> it's a big boy. That's a pretty big book. <laughs> Put this on TikTok. I'm gonna be fucking TikTok famous. <laughs> I just wish there was a granddaddy law. Like, it would already have been, like, moved out a long time ago. I'm not wow, fucking, the patient. I'm not, I'm not fucking. With it, it has so me. much patience because it knows I'm we're too. scared to death of it. That's why it's like, hi bitch, hi bitch. You think you gonna kill me? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right, bitch. I don't even like to kill them. I really hate to kill them because they killed the fucking shit we don't like. And I just think, oh fuck. I mean, I'm gonna let Rob free my fucking house because I'm not gonna wake up that motherfucker on my face. It's gonna fall right on my sage. Right on my fucking I, I hate the kids. I hate spiders. Why the fuck did God be like, okay, put two spiders on that ark? It's a TikTok. I just sat there the entire fucking Because it's like, <laughs> you think you're going to kill me? Yeah, right. You want me to draw a book at it? A hard ass book? A hard ass fucking book will end it. When you just, you put it flat, you go, pow. All you gotta do, you wanna do it? Like I don't know. All you gotta do is hold your hand flat like this, and when you're about to draw it, go like that. <laughs> I need somebody with a fucking flamethrower. I don't oh, even yeah, care if it ruins. I don't care. I just want it done. What you do is when you smack it, then take it. <clears throat> make sure. No, it's, it's gonna be down when you have to. No, do that. you when need I to make sure it's it, guts. It's gonna are Fucking no, just all over disgusting. the wall. I'm getting the fuck out of the way. There it goes. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm scared. It's dead. No, it's not! You gotta make sure it's dead! Oh, for fuck's sake. No, I watched it. No, dude. no, just because you hit it one time don't mean it's dead. Have you ever seen Michael Myers? That bitch has been killed multiple times. It's, uh, no, it's but I have to see its body or it ends. Oh.